Jonathan there and welcome back to the channel. This is Sharfeb Yunus and today we are going to do a video and a tutorial about Firebase Anonymous Authentication. Okay, the first thing to do is what is Firebase Anonymous Authentication? Well, Firebase is a serverless Google product that gives the, the developers many products to use, which are Firebase Firestore, Firebase real-time database and many other things the to use these products you have to have you must have an authenticated user great there is multiple method to do authentication in firebase okay so there is password authentication google sign in facebook sign in and many others today we are going to see what is anonymous authentication okay anonymous authentication is great because it gives you a temporary anonymous account to use Firebase product, okay, such as Firebase, such as Firebase, Firestore, and Real Time Database. Great. So the first thing to do is simply to create a Firebase project. Okay, go to Firebase console, console.firebase.google.com, and tap Create Project. Name the project whatever you want. I will name it Firebase Auth. Okay. Enable this. Enable Google Analytics for the project. The account will be the default for Google Analytics and create a project. It will take a while. Great, the project is created. Click continue. Great. The next, the next thing to do is to create the Android project and link it with this project, with this Firebase project. Click on Android Studio plus create new project. Click on empty activity. I will name it Firebase Anonymous, Anonymous, like that, and click finish. Great. Now we have to add to add Firebase project to this Android application. Go to Firebase Auth, click on Android. Copy the package name from here. You can register the app just like that. We don't need yet certificate the shell certificate now click on download google services or json this is a critical file open its location you can copy it go to android studio click on the app and then click open in explore great in the folder in the app folder you can paste the application you can paste the the json file okay you can get rid of these folders now now after adding this file click next we have to add some dependencies some project dependencies and and some app dependencies copy this line go back to android studio go to gradle script this file which is project not module click on project and paste this line here this is the first thing the second thing is to copy the plugin this one okay go back to the module here and the and under kotlin android paste it and just get rid of uh, apply plugin okay this is the second dependency the third dependency which is this one we paste it here and we will also add directly the dependency for firebase authentication okay you will need this line also okay just paste it here and click a full sync now it will take a minute or so great so concerning the design of the application we will do simple things just to demonstrate the application okay so we will need to create another activity okay another activity go to activity and click empty activity here click success activity okay so we have two activities in the success activity we have we will have two basic things we will have text view that show the user id and the button to do sign out okay to do sign out great so this is sign out button okay and this is user id text view great we will center this like that 
and also we will put this text view on top of this button something like that this is the constraint layout this button we will name it to sign out great and the text view will delete its text until later on great in the main activity design we will have only one button only one button to do the sign in which is the inverse operation okay we will center it we will rename it to sign in button okay and we will change its text to sign in great the next thing is to create a global variable okay date init bar which is the firebase on this line great we need to initialize firebase authentication firebase auth equal to firebase get, get instance great now after clicking on the sign in button we will have to launch some operation so we do find view by it button normally we should use data binding for this operation but just for demonstration purposes we do just find view by rt okay r dot id dot sign in button sign in button i misspell it i think i will rename it sign in button sign yeah something like that yes rename it please great so sign in button set on click listener and here we will do i know name us Anonymous auth will create a function of anonymous authentication, which basically what we do, we do Firebase auth dot sign in anonymously. Okay, this sign in anonymously function will return, as you may see, a task which contains an auth resource. Okay, so the task we should wait for the task. We should add basically two listeners: a success listener and a failure listener. Okay, so we do this for code static. Great. If the result is success, we need to go to the success activity. So we'll do just start activity, intent, and go from this context to the success activity. Okay. This is the first step. Second step, if you have a failure, you can just you just log something. But there is exception here and you can change its tag to be something like that okay so basically this is the all the code you need for this project great in the success activity in the success activity we will do the inverse operation we will also have this line okay and we will have this line also great we will have a find view by ID for the text if you first. Add ID dot user grades, user ID text view. We will change a text to be Firebase auth dot in Firebase authentication instance. There is something called current user. Yeah, the current user. Okay, this current user have multiple things such as the user ID. Okay, or is the user anonymous, which is a boolean. Okay, so we just UID. This will display the user identified. Great. Next, go to find view by ID for the for the sign out button. Click on add ID dot sign out button. And once we click it, we will do some process. We do sign out sign out function. Okay. Always try to mod modularize your code into smaller functions. Okay, so we do Firebase or dot out. That simple. Okay, and now we will have to finish this activity and go to the go to the activity preceding. Okay, which is the main activity. Great. This will work correctly, but we miss one more thing, which is to enable the authentication 
in our project. Okay, after clicking next here and continue to console, go to authentication and here click on get started. There is multiple sign-in providers here. The one we are using right now is anonymous, okay? Click on it and just enable it and click save. Great. Now under the user tab, we will see new users as we log in into the application. Okay, so basically we will run the application here. Pixel 4. Great, here is our application. So the thing to do is to sign in first. Normally we should display a progress and things like that to make the user experience great. But for the purpose of demonstrating the feature of simple function like that, we don't have to do such a thing. Click on sign in. After clicking on sign in, we'll wait two minutes and you see we are in the other application. This SDDTOG is the user ID. If you go to Firebase here and click on refresh, we will see user. Okay, created it and signed it. And here is his ID. Okay, this is a unique identifier for each Firebase user. Okay, and the provider is, as you can see, is anonymous. Okay, so this is the user. If you do sign out, well, basically, the user is signed out. If you get the application and enter it again, we click sign in again. And this time, we'll have another user with L5. If you refresh, here is another user. Okay, so this is straight how we do Firebase authentication anonymously. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you learned something, please subscribe and like this video. Thanks a lot and see you in the upcoming videos.